Hello everyone, I'm Chocolate Red here for another video review. This time we have uh, Mr. Kipling's Grand High Witches Vanilla and Chocolate Vanilla Slices. Or Chocolate Vanilla? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, so there we go. Um, yeah, well, basically, uh, it's part of the Roald Dahl range that they've been doing for some time now. Um, did a few, I've reviewed a couple of other ones. Uh, well, I think one of them infamously, well, well not infamously, but it <laughs> basically got half deleted or something. I, I, re I uploaded part of it, one of the Mr. Kipling um, French Fantasies reviews. But, um, yeah, essentially, well, this well, they've done it with their vanilla slices now. Now, I thought it, it looked a bit like it was going to be sort of Halloween-related, but I'm not sure if they've been doing them the whole year round. But, of course, you know, The Witches, um, the famous book, um, yeah, very much in flavour, or in, you know, in keeping with Halloween, I guess you'd say, yeah, so. And they look very nice, I think, uh, I mean, look at those, yeah, they look very good. Now, they've been doing loads of these, I mean, literally loads. There must have been about 12 different types of these now, that I've, and I think I've reviewed most of them. They did a load of 30% less sugar range, and... Almost all of them were terrible, to be honest with you. They were just not very nice. Um, they generally came in uh, packs of six as well, rather than eight, which this has presumably got. Looks like it has, anyway. Um, what it specifically says, does it say? Yeah, can't tell, can't tell. Probably says something, yeah, eight grand high, which is chocolate vanilla slices, yeah. So, it says it on the back in exactly the same way. <laughs> As the front does, but uh, it doesn't sit on the front for some reason. So yeah, don't know why. But but like the artwork it looks very nice, doesn't it? I mean, you know, I think I don't know how big Roald Dahl's books are these days. I know there's been some controversy with some of his stories. Um, you know, just basically, just no longer being politically correct, I guess you'd say. Um, but obviously, the witches. You know, I think it's one of those that it will be a timeless one. So yeah, maybe kids still hear about that. And I can see them at the side here. Now they look. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, they look very good. Really, very Halloweeny as well. Very witchy and. Brewy and spell spelly type, isn't it? Yeah, I think they're. I think they look very good. These. Mm. Now, there's tons. There's notoriously tons of packaging uh, in these things. Tons of packaging. Um, you know, they come in these little individual boxes, which I'll talk about in a bit. Um, you know, as you can see, yeah, they can probably half tell really, but uh, yeah, and it's just, I don't know, just tons of packaging. There's, there's hardly, you know, <laughs> I mean, you see, this is quite wide here, but the the cake size itself is probably about half the size of this. Uh, this pack, you know, so it's a bit rubbish, but anyway, exceedingly good cakes, it says. Rodal, the witches. Um, good artwork on it. Yeah, so as I say, chocolate and vanilla flavour sponge, top of a decorated vanilla flavour icing. 26%. So there we go, yeah. Hmm. Uh, 100% natural flavours and no artificial colours. No hydrogenated fat. Suitable for vegetarians. So there we go. And calorie rise, what have we got? Well, it's got per, per slice 26 grams, 109 calories. 4.9 grams of fat, 1.9 of which are saturates. Anyway, 100 calories, not too bad. So I think basically these are ideal for kids' lunch boxes, really. You know, you'd, uh, I mean, presumably, assuming they're relatively nutritional. <laughs> well, <laughs> not nutritional, but you know what I mean, relatively healthy. Um, just for a little dessert. So, uh, yeah, you know, you'd split them up and give the kid one of them. So 100 calories, not too bad. Um, there we go, yeah. And like I say, I like the artwork. I love the little... Yes, sort of a little master. I, I mean, I'm not familiar with Rodal's Witches. I think I read it, or had it read to me when I was uh, in school, I think, a long time ago now. <laughs> so I don't really remember much about it, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, so if you're a fan of this, then this is definitely worth a street. But I think it's just the artwork and things like that in general. I don't think you need to be a fan, really, to appreciate, you know, the design here, the, the, the artwork as well. Very typical Rodal artwork there. I don't know who actually did the artwork for Rodal, I can't remember. Um, but there we go. Yeah, there we are. Hmm. I didn't buy these that long ago, actually. But, uh, I don't know, it does say best before 28th of September. I'm assuming that must be next year because <laughs> I definitely bought them uh, bef after then. <laughs> so hmm, hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be all right. I'm sure they'll be fine. Okay, right. Well, um, yeah, don't think there's much more to say. Um, yeah, carefully baked in the UK by Premier Food, it says. Exceedingly good. Mr. Kipling trademarks designed and logo designs and logos appearing on this pack are owned by the Premier Food Group. There we go. Okay, and it's got this uh, handy recyclable stuff on there as well. So it's this one it says, tells you what's recyclable and what isn't. So the sleeve and a tray widely recycled, but the film not yet recycled. So there we go. So it gives you a bit of an awareness there. Right. Okay. Let's uh, give it an open. <laughs> so it's got this sort of tear here thing here you can see here. So uh, that's what we'll do. In fact, no, it won't, because I'm sure you can take these out without. I've always done it in the past without half torn it. <laughs> you can just take them out without it. So. I did have to. They've got these little tabs that kind of go into the 
packet there, you see those tabs. So if you just pop them out, you can get them out without them damaging the sleeve. But simply, I did damage it slightly. Now, here you go. Here's what, exactly what I was saying here. So <laughs> you can see how much packaging there is here. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? I mean, you know, there's, there's so much packaging, it's untrue. <laughs> um, but it looks nice. I mean, the elements, you know, just don't need to have this much packaging. <laughs> I mean, it's just to make them look bigger than it is, isn't it? But I mean, you can see here, I mean, you know, I've got my trusty ruler knocking about. I mean, the width of these, you know, is, what's the width? It's like 18 and a half centimetres, but I can tell you right now, there's four of these, and each one's roughly two and a half centimetres wide. So that's, a, that's ten, so there's eight centimetres there. Eight and a half centimetres, it's just not necessary, really. I mean, maybe you could give or take a, a bit for just packaging purposes, but, you know, really, you know. Crazy, and that's about the height as well. There's, you know, it doesn't need to be that tall either. So I mean, the, the things themselves are about seven, seven point four maybe, long, and each plastic container is just under ten, like eight, nine point nine. So seven point four, nine point nine. You know, it's two point five, isn't it? So two point five centimeters again. So it's a lot, of, you know, it's not plastic that when you think about it. We're trying to stop using this, so you know, you need to, yeah. It's just, but it's misleading as well. That's the thing. It's misleading you, you know. Anyway, yeah, and of course, you know, the height as well. Well, maybe the height you could possibly let them off with, but yeah, maybe. See, the height is, you know, not so bad, I guess. Yeah. So there we go. So yeah, they look quite nice, though. Yeah. Okay, let's give one an open show. So you meant to, uh, basically, you can remove them off there like that. Turn them to the side. Yeah, check my microphone's working. Always worry that I've not put it on. Yes, I have. <laughs> Good. Yeah, okay. Right, so there we go. So let's take it over. So there's like a, so it's open here. It's funny as well. It's got the tab there, so you can start thinking, oh, I've got to open it with this tab thing at the top. But that's just to keep it in the packaging. But uh, the actual open thing is down at the bottom. So open here. It's a bit, uh, yeah, I don't know, a bit confusing. But anyway, so you can kind of, uh, can you open it? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. There we are. So good and open. Hmm. Smells quite nice. Smells quite cakey, really, but it's still nice. A nice smell. Hmm. It's not. Uh, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> okay, a bit stuck to the bottom. Oh, there we go. Right. So it feels quite nice. So some of these, um, it did have like a syrup in them in the. In some of these ones, it had like a layer of, I don't know, uh, what's the word, cream or something. But this one doesn't seem to have it. So, yeah, chocolate and vanilla sponge flavor sponge, topped with a decorated vanilla flavor, flavor icing. Yeah. So there's no. Um, so some of these had like a little, yeah, like a. a, a What's the word you say? A ream, would you say? Like a vein <laughs> of, um, of, uh, uh, of sort of like, you know, icing, sort of like, you know, runny icing. Well, not runny, but, you know, liquidy icing in the middle. But this one doesn't. It looks okay. I think it's a bit... Uh, yeah, I guess it does look a bit like those on the front, doesn't it? I mean, it's not too dissimilar. The icing on the tops are not quite as green. But, you know, that's not bad. Yeah. I think you could... Uh, yeah, I think you could let them off that. It's pretty accurate. Yeah. Pretty good. So let's see what the measurements are. I think we roughly did it before, didn't we? But I mean, on the bottom, it's about 7 centimetres. At the top, about 7.4, like I said, I think. Height-wise, middle to middle, about 2.25. And at the edge, it's roughly about 2. Uh, width, about 2.5. Might have said that. Yeah, OK. Yes, yeah, so there we go. Uh, yeah. Looks nice. <laughs> so uh, just uh, give it a little slice in half. So it's quite sticky. It keeps sticking to this plate. It must be some. Uh, I don't know. I think it's the plate. It doesn't feel that sticky on my hand, but it sticks to the plate a bit. Uh, and there we go. That's what it looks like on the inside. <laughs> so yeah, very. Uh, this is no artificial colours. So we did anyway. Just check. Yeah. Mm, okay. So there we go. So it's a. Uh, not an artificial colour. I mean, I well, you know, what, what, what does it really mean that, you know, but, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, there we go. So it's natural somehow, yeah, so it comes from something. Right, well, yeah, what's more to, what's more to say? Let's uh, give it a taste. <laughs> right, so here we are. So I'll taste the same one that um, I sliced in half before. So, uh, yeah, let's give it a go. Mm hmm. Mm. Not too bad, not too bad, actually. Hmm. The icing's on top's nice, and it's not too dry. It says it's vanilla and chocolate flavour. 
Um, yeah, I mean, you know, chocolate flavour sponge doesn't really taste that nice, actually. <laughs> you know, you'd think it'd be great. And you see chocolate flavor, chocolate cakes and stuff, and but the actual chocolate sponge is never really that great. Um, and say so that's pretty accurate with this as well. It's not too amazing, you know. Uh, hmm. Sponge is okay. I mean, hmm. It just needs. It's just the fact that it's got this fondant top that makes it a bit more, um, a bit more interesting. Yeah, it's the topping really. I mean, if it wasn't for the topping, it'd be too dry really. I think it's not a dry sponge, but there'd just be not enough going on really. Hmm. Hmm. And it's that which makes it, really, which is why I think the others do normally have, like um, you know, a layer of sort of chocolate, you know, um, sorry, sort of like um, you know, a fond, a, a, a sort of cream filling or whatever, something in the middle that's a bit more liquidy. And it just breaks it up a bit and adds a bit more flavour. As it stands, the only real flavour is the fondant, really. Um, mm. It looks nice though. Mm. But being centered around Halloween, it'd be nice to have some kind of green goo in the middle or something, wouldn't it? You know, where. Uh, mm. But I guess they're trying to keep it low calorie, well, lower calorie. Mm. It's nice, it's not too bad. I mean, you can definitely tell this is one without 30% less sugar, whatever it is, compared to the others, because those other ones really were a bit. A bit, a bit poor, really. Yeah, and this one just has that little bit of extra flavour, you know, probably for the sweetness or something. Um, but it's still not too great. It's only the fondant that really does it, makes it any, you know, worth eating, really. Um, as, as you've seen, the packaging is ridiculous, you know. So much wasted space. And yeah, and it's not that great. I mean, there's better ones out there. I think they did the unicorn one. I think was, that was probably the nicest one, I think. Um, I don't know if they still do that. They do normal ones. I think there's a normal chocolate one and an angel, um, angel, angel slice. I think is the normal one. And I think they're the nice ones. I think they're just they've just got the proper flavours in. And you know, these other sets they just don't seem to quite get it quite right. You know, but I think these really do look good. And I think they're probably a good treat for you know kids coming around on the Halloween and things like that. You know, I think because they do look Halloweeny. Um, you know, so there is that. I mean, obviously it could be more Halloweeny. It could have some bits on the plastic here. You know. Um, a bit more of it, sort of something on there to symbolise Halloween or the witches at least. You know, the artwork could extend onto the onto the plastic top, um, because the new ones they did where they did lots of other first printless sugar ones. They were all themed with animals, something like crocodiles and bears and raccoons probably, or something else. And dragon, there's a dragon one. Um, I'm not sure if that's first printless sugar, but there was a dragon one anyway. And they all had they were all pretty normal in the cake cake wise, but they all had um, a, dra a dragon or a bear or something on the on the plastic bit. This one doesn't have any witch's artwork or anything, which is a bit disappointing. Um, so yeah, I didn't pick that up when I was packaging it before, but yeah, it's a bit of a disappointment that. So I think the packaging could be better. It all just seems to be on this bit, you know. And and I know they don't need to do that because I say I've seen them myself where they've had designs on these things just to make them look a bit more. Well, the other ones they were doing, they were trying to make them out to be sort of like some bear slices or something. And of course, they just didn't look anything like that, you know, when you had them, when you actually took them out. Um, but they all were different colours and things, but they just basically all the same design. You just changed the colour of the sponge, basically. So they are, they can just churn these out in any colour and flavours they want. And I guess that's probably why they've not done the design on here, because it costs them more money. Um, but as I say, they do do it for other ones, so, bit, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like they could have done something better there. So yes, yeah, so it's not too bad, but I think against the regular angel slices and uh, you know whatever you know the regular Mr. Kipley ones of these, I don't think it's a great one. I think they are better generally. Um, yeah, so it's tempted to give it less than three because I think three would be you know what it should be really. Um, but you know I think it looks nice. You know it's okay. I think yeah, minimal effort's gone to the design on the packaging here, but I guess the packaging doesn't matter too much. But it's just the fact that I know they do better packaging than this. Um, but I think it looks good. Yeah, I think I should probably give it less than a three, but I'm going to give it a three out of five. Um, I think, you know, it's, it's it's acceptable, you know. I think it's probably not as good as other ones out there, and it's probably not as good as the average Mr. Kipling Vanilla Slice, whether it's, you know, the Angel Slice, whatever it's called, but um, mm, it's okay. I mean, it's got the branding and, you know, the, uh, the witch's art on here is quite nice, and the colours are quite nice, you know, it's a bit different. But um, yeah, as far as it goes itself, it's really all just about the fondant topping. You know, that's the only bit that has real a real flavour. So yeah, a bit disappointed. So really, it probably should be less than three. But you know, I don't know. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a three. You know, maybe I'll change my mind and give it a two and a half or something. But when I come to edit the video, but we'll say three for now. So there we go. <laughs> 
Okay, guys, if you enjoyed that review, uh, follow me to subscribe on videos, follow me on Instagram as well, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Take care, fun, see you later. Well, leave a comment, so free, it's always great to hear from you. Bye for now. Have a great day. See ya. <laughs>